tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. This tutorial is about transparency. This character gets transparent while he dances. Now. And the interesting thing is that his shadow and reflection get transparent too. So everything is empty in the scene. There's no shadow there whatsoever. And when he reappears, the shadow and reflections reappear. The shadow, by the way, is more or less this grayish thing here. And it's gone now. So let me show you what this is about. Seems trivial, but it isn't. We start with a new scene. And since we're dealing with character animation in this example, we'll change the units, which are currently set to centimeters. So I guess that is 10 centimeters or something like that. So this would be one meter. Um, we want other dimensions for character animation because they, the characters usually come in dimensions of meters, like one and a half meters, two meters high, characters, whatever. So let's go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and Preferences. And here we have under Settings, it's just this entry here, the centimeters. And let's set the centimeters to meters for now. Save. You see the grid changes immediately and when you press the key A for selecting or focusing on all objects in the scene, which is currently only the grid, you get the, basically the same view as before, but the characters won't land in the scene as gigantic uh, giants really, but uh, as um, ordinary people. So Windows, General Editors, Content Browser, and here under Motion Capture you find the typical, which I use so often, um, the dances, for example. With double click, the dancer lands in the scene. I can see him here. And when I run the, the animation, this is his dance. This is exactly the dance you just saw. A NURBS plane instead of a polygon plane, just to make a change, doesn't make a difference here. And uh, with a gigantic width of 100 instead of 1. And I need a light, and I create under Arnold a sky dome light, which will be very bright, I guess. When we render the scene, this is what we get. And instead of uh, rendering it right here, I render it here in the viewport now. Let's go to Renderer, Arnold and run the rendering process. So I get basically the same, but now I can pick objects if I like. Let me go to show, and I don't want to so, uh, see the joints. The joints are inside the character and I just want to, don't want to pick them inadvertently. I want to pick um, the skin now. So right mouse click, material attributes, and here I see the Fong shader. That's the shiny shader. Let's switch to an Arnold shader here, because this is this uh, more or less the shader of the the contemporary shader, and uh, here I have the AI standard surface shader. That's the one I want to use. The color changes immediately to white from gray to white, and I have less reflectiveness. I have soft shadows here. Arnold is still rendering, and. Um, how do I make this object, the, the character, transparent now? Well, let's move a little bit with the camera over here, like this. Well, um, you have transmission here. And that's basically transparency. In the Maya shader, in the Lambert shader, for example, that would be called trans transparency. Uh, but here it's transmission. When I um, set this, this transmission currently is the zero. That means it's not transmitting any light. So I set this to 100% now it transmits all light. This is um, interesting, but certainly not, let's deactivate the grid, uh, but certainly not what we want. We have a shiny character, who looks like glass, interesting, certainly interesting, and um, 
um, he has a shadow here, which is nice. But we don't want to see him at all. So how do we do this? We set the transmission to 100% uh, to 1, basically. Well, the key entry is under specularity. When you reduce the specularity from 1 to 0, nothing really changes. Because there are no reflections anyway. But we have an index of a refraction. That means the object, the shader, behaves as if it was glass. Uh, with a refractive inde index of uh, 1.52. Uh, let's change this to 1. That makes it like water, totally transparent. And now the character goes away. So remember the steps we just took. Uh, we set the transmission weight to 1. So it's totally transparent. And then we change the index of refraction to water to a value of 1. Of course we see things here which we don't like. And now we need to go somewhere else. And uh, I show you where. You need to go to the skin of our object. That's the, in this case, the dance one, dance of one skin, it's called. And under the dance skin shape, you have an Arnold section right here. And in the Arnold section, you need to check, actually to uncheck, opaque. And now when you, let's use the ordinary rendering process now, when you render it now everything is gone. There's no shadow there. Let's pick the plane and give that plane a new material. An Arnold shader, a standard surface shader. It looks white here in the viewport. And when you render it now, an interesting effect appears. We see something here, and that's the reflection of our character on the ground plane. The ground plane is like a mirror. Of course, we can make the ground plane totally unreflective now by turning the specularity from 1 to 0. But uh, if we want to have it reflective, what do we do about it? We need to go back to the skin and under skin where we just unchecked opaque, remember opaque is doing this, we need to uncheck specular reflection. Now we have a clean scene. Now let's go back to the shader, right mouse click material attributes, right here. That's our Arnold shader with a specularity weight of 1, but a refractive index of 1 as well, which is making it totally transparent. What we'll do now is we go to, for example, this frame when he makes that turn, and we set a keyframe for the weight of the transmission. So let's reduce the transmission to 0, that means the character is visible, he's totally opaque. Set a key, that's the right mouse button. Then we go a little bit further. Let me bring the character in focus again. And we set another keyframe for the weight at zero. That means he's totally opaque. But then we will slowly go to transparent. Set a keyframe and we stay transparent for quite a while, like here. Set another keyframe, that means transparent, transparent, transparent. And now we make him visible again by reduce, reducing the weight to zero and setting another key. Actually, you might wonder where the keyframes are. They should be visible here. They are. You need to click on this icon and then you see the keyframes we just set here. And um, when we select this attribute, this object, this node basically, you see the keyframes we just set. Let's go back here and render. That's what we see now. I think uh, we could use a nicer color for the background. 
for example, that light blue, which I've used in the preview. So let's render this again. I have a shadow here, which is still being rendered. It's still a little bit grainy and noisy. Now it, the noise goes away here. And I have the total reflection. Very nice, very nice. Now I step a little bit further and you see in the almost real-time rendering that the character disappears. Now he's gone. There's a tiny bit of reflection here because he's not, he's not totally transparent. A few frames earlier. The transparency slowly fades and the shadow fades as well because he fades. Step a little bit back, even more back, like this, so he's almost opaque and he has a nice reflection and nice shadow and when we go here nothing is in the scene so the scene is really empty and here he returns sooner or later here we go we have a very very subtle reflection here no shadow currently visible because he's too high anyway but the shadow is playing a role here and of course, when he touches the ground, even more so. So this is basically what you need to remember when you make a, an object totally transparent. First thing, go to the shader. In the shader, um, set the index of refraction to something like water, which is 1.0. Then manipulate the transmission weight from, in this case, from 1 to 0, 1 makes the uh, character totally transparent. And then you need to go to the character himself, or the object, you can use just a cube to experiment with this, and you need to uncheck opaqueness, because this uh, will disable the shadows when he's really uh, totally transparent, and you need to uncheck the specular reflection. And having said this, I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.